Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventure, and today we are going to be talking about how to build the Waller Adventures Garden Part 2. So in Part 1, we talked about the OG and the trough, but now we're going to talk about the chicken wire topper that goes on top of the OG and the cucumber crawl that connects the OG and the trough together. Okay, now that the OG and the trough are complete, we need to put the dirt back into the center of each garden. So once you put the dirt back in, then you need to put your topsoil, which is whatever soil you want it to be. Uh, I use cow manure and organic miracle Grow soil. I just mix it together and then dump it on top. For the OG, it took about six bags all together. I did three cow manure and three miracle Grow, And the trough took about one each, roughly one each, maybe a little more. But if you are going to put your own mixture, I will warn you now, do this before you put the chicken wire topper on top of the OG because it will be hard to move to maneuver around to smooth out your dirt. The chicken wire topper, I bought 5 by 50 roll of chicken wire. I also bought 12 5 foot PVC pipes for the chicken wire frame. Eight of those pieces of PVC pipe I cut to 4 foot and I left 4 pieces to 5 foot so the box is 4 by 5. I made the two 4x4 four four squares when I made the 6x8 box with the PVC pipe and a 3 connector. Um, this time I didn't glue it, but I need to glue it when I make another one. <laughs> Once the frame with the chicken wire top was built, the sides were next. Since the chicken wire that I bought was 5 foot, it was fine because the width of the box was four foot so that meant I had extra to wrap around the PVC pipe. I also attached that chicken wire with zip ties around the PVC pipe. So the process to put the chicken wire on all four sides, I cut the chicken wire to five and a half feet and at the bottom of the chicken wire I tied a steel pipe to keep the chicken wire from popping back up and hitting me in the face. So once I was on the side of the frame, I threw the top of the chicken wire that does not have the metal pipe in it, and it laid on top of it, and the chicken wire kind of grabbed a hold. And while it was sitting up there, I grabbed the zip ties and zip tied the top. And then once the top of it was zip tied, I went down the sides and zip tied the sides along with it. And once I got close to the bottom, I took the pipe out and zip tied the bottom. Um, I did that for all three sides. But once I got to the fourth side, I did the same process. I put the chicken wire on top of the frame and it grabbed a hold of the top of it and I zip tied the very top. But the sides are actually held to the PVC pipe with Velcro so that way it is easier to open up the front and get in and out of the garden. That pipe that I was using to hold down the chicken wire when I was hanging it on the sides of the frame, I used it for the front entrance to also hold it down so when I pick it up, I just roll it and sit it on top of the frame. But it is also cut on the sides, so the front flap of the chicken wire sits in front. The pipe actually sits inside of the garden. So now we're going to talk about the cucumber crawl. I measured 5 inches from the top of the OG, the original garden, and I cut the PVC pipe about an inch down from the top and I placed a three-sided connector there. 
Then I got a two foot piece of PVC pipe that is three fourths of an inch in diameter. Also bought straight connectors as well to connect the pieces together. I connected three pieces of the two foot PVC pipe to make two six foot pieces. Then I connected spare pieces of the PVC pipe to make a four foot piece with a three end connector. Also I added a one foot and a half PVC pipe. I zip tied the chicken wire to these top pieces so it created the top part of the cucumber crawl. Um, I left that on one side open to connect it to the wall of the OG. I then placed the two six foot legs to the ledge. Before attaching them to the OG, I took a two foot piece and pushed them into the ground then placed the other PVC pipe to it. So from the top of the cucumber crawl to the trough is a 75 degree angle um, and so I stretched out the chicken wire from the top to the trough to make a triangle and then at the bottom of the trough I connected the chicken wire to the top of that top 2x4 and I secured it down with screws and washers because the um, chicken wire is obviously has holes in it and that washer helps hold down the chicken wire so the screw doesn't go through the holes of the chicken wire. Okay guys, I hope this video explains how we built the Waller Adventures garden. If y'all have any more questions or any specific questions, you can list it in the comments or you can send us a message on our Facebook group or our Instagram page. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. See you soon. Did you like that gardening video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post more videos. Also check us out on our Facebook page and on our Instagram page. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you real soon.